Hey, Tubby, do you have a 3D printer? I do. Can you it, see it? It's back. Well, back over I can't there. because they crop Riverside's. You're yeah. a square here, so I can't see anything. But I also have a 3D printer, and I got pretty excited about uh, Tom Sandlatterer's video. He's telling us that 0.4 millimeter nozzles are dead, and that we need a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Have you have you seen this? I wa I watched this video. Well, what's your what's your opinion? I was I was really excited that the possibility exists that you could start printing faster just by the the sheer amount of more volume that you're able to lay down with the bigger nozzle. You really are, and that's what I should have shown, Tubby. I wish you said that before we started, because somewhere in here he has, you know, some time comparisons. Some some slice, yeah, some sli slicer times. But I remember some of it being, we'll put the real numbers here if I'm totally off, but it was something like sliced the old school way with uh, 0.4 millimeter nozzle. It was like two hours and 40 minutes and it was more like an hour and a half or an hour and 50 minutes with yeah it was the new it was, it was significant a big chunk a big chunk of change faster so did you see what the difference is well not the difference I between did. it's not there's a change to prusa slicer that's made this possible and it's this new arachne perimeter generator and I'm going to point with my mouse here, because I don't know. Okay. With the old perimeter generator, the perimeters were always the same width. So, it, like, yep. with this curve here that you see, that it's funny. It has two identical length perimeters on the inside and the outside, and then it tries to fill that space in with weird... These weird yep. pieces of infill here. The new arachne generator can make wider and narrower perimeters so you know it'll over extrude and you'll get a wider yeah so it's still the picture on the right here it still has two perimeters on the inside two on the outside but those inner perimeters are thick chonky boys that are touching each other and that also over... works for for small details too like the old version of the slicer if you had a two lines that come to a point they'll stop a little early today they won't you won't yeah. print what you expect to print. So if everybody's designing for 0.4 millimeter nozzles, when you moved to a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which is really like about twice as big as a 0.4 by volume, you would lose details. The slicer just wouldn't even output them. Yeah. But now with the arachne generator for the perimeters, it will generate narrow perimeters under extruded, I guess you can call them, perimeters. That was my takeaway watching the video. It's like I, I understand how this works, but I I didn't understand why it works because I he said point point six, but it could do smaller somehow, and I was like, but it's but Tom, it's point six. Don't you understand? That's it's always bigger. Point six. Don't it's, you know that that's bigger? It's not <laughs> telescoping down. It's not like a, it's not adjustable. So yeah, I I understood. What happens? I just didn't understand the why. Why that happens or yeah. how? And you lose deep. You lose definition when you go narrower than the nozzle too. Anyway, like I think the default in Prusa slicer with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle is a 0.45 millimeter perimeter. So it, you know, it bubbles out ever so slightly, and but now it can go smaller on a perimeter. Even too. smaller. But he showed a bunch of benchies. I'll. Put a picture up here somewhere. We'll find the good. It's very difficult to tell the difference between the 0.6 and 0.4 millimeter benchies on his. And they all, if I remember correct, they all look good. You yeah, know, like, they're all more than acceptable. It's not like. I mean, there are, there are people who go way into the weeds dialing in their printers to get the highest quality prints. And, you know, I've tried to do that before. And I've looked at one, the before and the after, the the before looked fine. The after took way longer to print, and maybe it looked a little bit better, but not better enough, at least in my opinion, to justify the additional time it took to to print it. Now, are you thinking about doing the work and swapping a nozzle to a bigger nozzle? Not, not right now. Maybe. I, I, I. I I'm probably not going to do it because there is a downside to this. 
bridging an overhang stone print as well with a bigger nozzle. Okay. And I have some that prints sense. that need overhangs. And, you know, the, the, the bigger the nozzle, the taller, the, your minimum layer height is higher. Yeah. And it's wider. So it's soft plastic that weighs more that just wants to, gravity wants to, to do pull it down. and bad things. Yeah. I, I thought when I watched the video... I thought, hey, this would be really neat if I had two printers, which I will in the future, because I've been I've been printing lots of I don't have one near, but I've been printing lots of these ESP32 cases, and there's no overhangs on those. And I thought, hey, this would be neat if I had a separate printer with the bigger nozzle just cranking out these things that I'm selling on Tindy. Yeah. And then I had and then I'd have another printer for other stuff, for tinkering you know, where maybe that I wouldn't have to worry about bridging and overhangs. This would be a pretty good reason to have the new uh, E3D Revo hot end where you can swap them in a minute without having to worry about yeah. heating up, cooling down, leaky plastic or anything. Yeah, that that's a that's a really good idea. It would be f I don't want to I don't want to spend I don't want to do it. I don't want to spend a ton of money on the Prusa XL and then turn around and immediately start tweaking my old Mark III. But it, it's true. But if you get the XL, you can get two heads and have a point six and a point four, or a point six and a point three five, or something. You can go more extreme yep. on the smaller yeah. one if you wanted to. That would be fun. And I'm curious about mixing those in the same print. I wonder if the if Prusa Slicer will be able to to do that. Do your do your overhang layers with the point three and do the or the point three five, and then do the chonky layers with the big boy. I wonder if... That'd be interesting. But if Tom knows. seems excited about it. And he's got a really he, badass shirt. I like that Hawaiian shirt that he has here. He's got an awesome shirt. I would wear that shirt. I think that counts as an episode, Tubby. I think so, too. Was we that three? About that. Three? Is anybody counting? Yes. 